Okay, let me talk to you about underwear. Uh, first of all, I don't even wear underwear anymore. It's, I, it, honestly, I don't really think I need it, or people need it. I think it's like a scam, uh, because, number one, them, like, not to wear underwear, would be, underwear is expensive. It costs money, uh, you have to go, you have to make special trips to sort of get it. And to be honest, on a guy like me, underwear isn't attractive. Uh, attractive. It's not like panties. They're not like, and I ain't wearing underwears or, or colorful or whatever. I wear like, if I wear, I wear tidy whities And another thing about the tidy whities that they say is they scoot your balls up, make them hot, and you can wind up like sterile. No kids. Your, your sperms don't work right. So anyway, I'll tell you the reason that, that I stopped wearing underwear besides the, uh, what I already said about, you know, it costs money, you have to go to the store. I mean, the rain, main reason I, I, wore, I stopped wearing underwear was because I used to sit on my ass a lot. I used to sit on my ass in front of a computer all day, right? And when I was looking at the computer, the underwear, the tidy whities I would wear, were kind of, they had like this little, the tidy whities that I would wear, they had this kind of little ridge, you know, a seam. So it wouldn't unroll and unravel and be all loose and shit like that, right? So, uh... It, as I sat on my ass all day, it would cut into my leg, and and it would just be annoying. I'd have to keep fucking shifting it, because it's like something just... You know, if you just touch something for a second, it's no big deal. But if you press on something, any part of your body, for like hours, of course, it's going to make you insane. It's like some kind of Chinese pressure torture or whatever. So anyway, I was like, you know what, fuck this. Let's just see what happens when I don't wear underwear. And I'm telling you, I was like free. I was like, this is fucking great. You know, and even with, with the ball thing, you know, people say, oh, why don't you just wear uh, boxers? You know, I'm like, why the fuck should I wear anything? You know, it's just, why am I paying this, these underwear people? You know, I, to, all I really, okay. I would say the main reason people need underwear, right, uh, would be to protect their clothes from their dirty, shitty asses and their leaky dicks. And with women, it would be vaginas and blood and whatever. So, to protect people's clothes from their, like, dirty asses. But in this day and age, you know, maybe in the past it was important, but in this day and age, everybody has toilet paper. We wipe our asses. We have moist towelettes. We can wipe our ass really clean, cleaner than, than ever in... in in history, we have soft paper, hard paper, depending on what kind of shit you make. It doesn't matter, right? So you technically can keep your ass clean that way. And the other thing, like, underwear is kind of evidence that you might have a dirty ass, you know? It's like, you know, it just when people, you, you get skin marks and, and piss marks on your underwear. So when you're at someone's, uh, well, you know, if, let's say someone comes over your house, they look in your laundry, and they see all shit and piss marks on your underwear, what are they going to think? Of course you're going to think, this guy don't know how to wipe his ass. Or, uh, let's say you got blood in it, like you got hemorrhoids or something. Then, like, just imagine that. You, you know, you're, you're with this woman, first time. A surprise, right? And you take off your pants, you take off your underwear, and you got, like, shit, piss, and blood stains in the underwear. I mean, come on. Of course the girl's going to be like, get up, politely excuse herself, and then tell all her friends that this guy's fucking disgusting. He's got, like, shit, piss, and blood, you know, maybe even mucus in his fucking underwear, you know, like gross, right? So, I mean, if you don't wear underwear, then you don't have to worry about that, you know? You don't have, like, people going like, Ugh. you don't have to do the laundry or buy, like, uh, special stain removers, the heavy-duty ones, that take out the shit stains, you know, from your underwear. So, and I mean, okay, when it comes to, to underwear, there's only been a couple of times when I, I feel I personally, as act I, I have actually needed to be wearing underwear, right? Where was important that I had on? Uh, one of the times, one of the times when I should have been wearing underwear was like my pants split because, you know, I'm like a guy and I wear my clothes to death and I just fucking, I got like fat thighs and they rub together and they wear the clothes out. So basically my pants split and my balls pretty, my cock and balls, they pretty much fell right out and they're like hanging there. And I had to, like, get some gaffer tape and tape together. So that's one time I needed it, okay? And actually, that happened twice. <laughs> but, um... And the other time I might need underwear is sometimes it's surprisingly cold out. And I don't know if you... This is something... This is a guy thing. And it doesn't... And I mean, well, here, here I go. Like, when you're a guy, 
and it's cold out, sometimes your dick will mushroom, right? Now, if your dick mushrooms, it's just like, a, like it'll be stubby. You got a stubby little dick, and it kind of just, the tip of it will be up against your pants, and as you're walking, it's like filing the tip of your dick with your pants. It's like left, back, forth, up, down, left, right, rub, rub, rub. So, like, in the winter, in the winter sometimes when I'm really cold, I'll get, like, a uh, friction burn on, my, on the tip of my dick, right? But then usually what I do is I just put a hip band-aid on it. It's okay. It's just like whatever, you know. If it gets that bad, you know, I'll wear underwear. But, I know, you know, I'm thinking, like, why do I even need underwear? Why does anybody need underwear? I mean, the best thing I can think about underwear, the best thing I would ever do with underwear is, like, let's say somebody pisses you off, right? Well, if they piss you off, you can take your dirty underwear and rub it in their face. 